On October 13, 2023, approximately nine classrooms at the St. Andrews Anglican Primary School, located at Progress Park, St. Andrew, were destroyed by fire. This resulted in the displacement of students and staff, while an alternative location was sought to facilitate the continuation of classes. In February of this year, the student population was temporarily relocated to the Telescope Resource Center in St. Andrew, but concerns were expressed about inadequate spacing in the classrooms. On Wednesday, Minister for Education David Andrew was pleased to provide an update regarding a permanent site for the school. So I'm happy to report that they are temporarily well accommodated at the uh, Resource Center at Telescope. That's been so since early this year in February. Uh, they have air-conditioned classrooms in the interior of the building, the concrete section, and they, uh, they have the outdoor buildings that have been moved there. And so the whole school is accommodated there. Uh, they've been comfortable. Um, I've checked in a couple of times, so they're operating quite well. And in fact, in the, the words of some of the staff, why hadn't we done this sooner? But nonetheless, that's a temporary state of, of affairs. The education minister elaborated on the design for the rebuilding of a new structure, which he revealed would be at its former location in Granville, St. Andrew. And the more substantive matter is that the designs have been approved. Where we know there has been, the tendering has been completed. And from my understanding, uh, a contractor has been recommended. We have not gone public with that yet because we are still at this moment waiting for and no objection from CDB, as you're well aware, um, CDB is the funder. So they ought to give a no objection for the recommended contractor after completing the process. So that's there. We're waiting on that from them. Minister Andrew said there has been a change in the way these projects are supervised to avoid conflict of interest. He added that they are halfway through the design phase of the project. I think what we've met is a situation where the contractor that did the conceptual designs also does supervision. We think that represents a potential for conflict of interest in that if there is a design flaw, uh, the supervisor of the project could easily correct at some point and we think that could potentially shortchange uh, the, the quality of work and uh, accountability for the Grenadian people and the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. And so there's going to be a separate supervisory structure. You design, you win, yes, you do the, the, the conceptual designs, but there's going to be a secondary firm or entity doing the supervision. So that we are we feel confident will give us a, a better quality product in the end and the anticipation based on plan is that by the beginning of the final quarter we will see actual sod turning for uh, and commencement of construction for the telescope not the telescope but the St. Andrews Anglican school at its original location in Grenville. It is anticipated that by the end of this year, the sod turning ceremony for the commencement of construction should take place. Christina John, GBN News.